Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C61 D53 wooden tanks contractor license. Now a wooden tanks contractor erects or repairs elevated wooded storage tanks and related cooling towers and hot tubs are not included in this classification. And that's a definition straight from the CSLB website and that's the contractor state license board. So essentially, the D53 license is most commonly associated with contractors that work with cooling towers. Now, they also work with elevated wooded storage tanks, as the name of the license suggests, but typically cooling tower design and repair, energy conservation services, cooling tower water treatment, and working with tower air coolers is typically what this contractor license is mainly for. So essentially, you need the D53 license in order to bid on any projects relating to wooden tanks or cooling towers where the total cost exceeds $500 in labor and materials. Now, how long does it take to get the contractor license in California? You're looking at an average time frame of about 90 days. You could expect a six to eight week application processing time and then another three to four weeks before you go and take your test. Now, that time fluctuates based on a variety of different factors, but on average, you're looking at about a 60 to 90 day time frame. Now, the basic requirements for a contractor license are that you're at least 18 years of age. You'll need a valid driver's license or USAID. You'll need a social security or ITIN number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Your experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey-level experience within the last 10 years. You'll need somebody that can sign off and verify that experience, and you've got to be able to submit documentation just in case the CSLB asks to see proof. Now, who could sign off on that experience? You could use a licensed general contractor. You could use a D53 license holder. You could use a foreman or supervisor at a company you've worked at, a fellow journeyman or employee within the last 10 years, and then in some cases, even a business associate. Now, criminal history. Everybody's got to apply for live scam fingerprinting when they go for their contractor license. Be honest on the application. Typically, if your charges don't have anything to do with fraud, forgery, or embezzlement, you should be okay. But keep in mind, you've got to submit court documents just in case the CSLB asks you to see proof. Now, what's on the exam that you need to pass? It's only one test. It's going to be 115 questions covering contractor license law. You've got three hours to complete it. It's going to be a multiple choice exam. It's going to be done on site on a computer. And you can bring a translator the day of the test if you qualify. Now, the CSLB law and business exam covers a ver variety of different topics, including business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and also public works. Now, we've got the most up-to-date licensing guides and practice exams that you'll find anywhere on the internet, so you'll definitely want to check out the links in the description of this video. Now, after you pass your test, you'll get your results immediately. If you want to retake the test, if you can, if you have to retake the test, obviously, uh, you will typically get a retake within about two to three weeks. And once you pay your license activation and contractor bond number, the CSLB will send you your contractor license in the mail. Now, the costs for the California contractor license are that you're going to pay a state application fee, you'll pay a license activation fee, and then a renewal fee every two years. You'll have to cover the cost of fingerprinting, and you'll need to provide a contractor bond number. Now, we've got a separate video that goes in-depth on the most up-to-date California contractor license costs, and I suggest you check out that video. Just want to thank you for watching. For additional information on the D53 license, getting bonded, trade skills, and more, you can check out the rest of our website. Like and subscribe to our channel, and any questions that you have, feel free to drop them in the comments of this video. But again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.